Introduction to the Strange Fate of the Spirit Boat of Mortals www.chaoshuyuan.com The spirit boat is a tool spirit for both travelers and beginners. In an accident, his soul crossed the world of the legend of immortal cultivation and became the spirit of a flying boat. With this identity, he has the ability to control this flying boat, but at the same time, he is firmly bound by the law. Fortunately, Lin Yi knows the future plot development, which is https forward slash forward slash www.zayashuan.com. Chapter 1 Ascension Conference You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, between the Lingxiao Cloud Sea, a dazzling flying boat cuts through the long sky, leaving behind a brilliant light track. On the deck of the flying boat, a middle-aged man in a yellow shirt was sitting cross-legged, his eyes tightly closed and his divine sense released as he scanned the boat. Strange. The middle-aged man frowned slightly. Just now, I clearly felt a faint wave of divine spirit. He scanned for a while, but didn't find anything unusual, so he gave up searching. It's just that, I guess I got it wrong. After speaking, the middle-aged man continued to meditate and cultivate his techniques. However, inside the flying boat that he had not noticed, a weak soul was slowly awakening within the control core of the boat. Where is this? Am I walking on my way to buy something? Lingzhou's mind flashed through a series of vague memories, with the piercing sound of brakes and a sudden look back. At that glance, it was a thousand years, and a large car light was dazzling to the extreme before losing consciousness. When he opened his eyes again, the scenery he saw was no longer the familiar modern scenery in his memory, but on a boat. At this moment, Lingzhou finally realized his current state. His body had turned into a boat, and he actually existed in the form of a spirit in this flying boat. Did you actually travel through time? At first, Lingzhou felt confused and panicked about his brand new body, but soon he calmed down, after all, Lingzhou's original personality was very easy. Going. Once you come, let's settle down. It would be great to be able to live a lifetime again. Looking at his new body, the spirit boat instinctively bounced, only to find that he couldn't move as usual. He began to try to adapt to this new body, and soon learned how to control all the functions on the spaceship without any discomfort, just like his original body, and even able to perceive the outside world. Why do you always feel like someone is peeping? The middle-aged man on the deck opened his eyes, feeling a bit uneasy. He released his divine sense and checked the surroundings of the flying boat again. However, Ling Zhou was frightened and quickly withdrew his senses to avoid being noticed by him. However, with a quick glance, he still saw the flag planted on the edge of the ship and barely recognized the three characters, Huang Feng Valley. Only then did he realize that he had traveled to the world of mortal cultivation. This discovery surprised and excited him, and although he couldn't say that the development of the story inside was complete, he still remembered it in all likelihood. I just don't know which version of the mortal world it is, anime or novel. Ling Zhou thought to himself that this was related to the future development of the plot. A few days later, while the spirit boat was immersed in his thoughts, a decree suddenly came to his mind, which was to command the flying boat to slow down and land. And Ling Zhou tried to refuse to execute this law, but her body still slowed down and landed according to the content of the law. This feeling was like being crushed by a ghost, clearly conscious but unable to control her body. And this feeling of being manipulated makes Ling Zhou feel very uncomfortable. We must find a way to break free from this kind of control. After setting future goals, Ling Zhou began to carefully perceive the conversations of the Yellow Maple Valley cultivators on board, while deliberately avoiding the middle aged cultivator on the deck. The following is Yinwu Ridge in Lanzhou. You said how many junior sisters will be recruited at this ascension ceremony? Junior sister. What if they are all junior brothers? Close your crow's mouth, there were no senior sisters at the last ascension conference. 
The casual conversations of these Huang Fengu cultivators made Ling Zhou realize that the next opportunity was to determine whether the mortal world he was in was a novel or an anime. On the deck, the leader cultivator kept his eyes closed and focused, without chatting with his disciples. This makes it impossible for Ling Zhou to determine what his surname is, and according to the eavesdropping, the mountain not far below them is the place where the upcoming ascension ceremony will be held. At that time, there will definitely be disciples coming to remind him, it depends on how the disciples address him. Is it surnamed Wu? Still surnamed Wang? Uncle Wang, we have arrived at Yunwu Ridge. A disciple wearing yellow Maple Valley clothes walked onto the deck and respectfully said to the middle dot aged cultivator. I understand. After the flying boat stops, you can go and see how the foggy rooftop has been built. I'll go see the guides of other sects, and if you have anything, please contact me with a note. Yes, Uncle Wang. The disciples of Huangfeng Valley slowly retreated. The spirit boat inside the core of the hidden flying boat heard it clearly, although it had some accent, it was still recognized. Surname Wang. It seems like this is a fictional version of the mortal world, but did the original work say that this mountain is called Yinwu Ridge? As the flying boat landed on the mountain, except for leaving a few disciples to guard the boat, the other disciples from Huangfeng Valley who accompanied the boat went to help build the Tianwu platform for selection, and there were still a few days before the recruitment of disciples began. Through the perspective of the flying boat, Ling Zhou observed the busy scene below, filled with anticipation for the upcoming development of the story. Because there is no reference material, Ling Zhou is also uncertain about where the plot of Han Li's current story has developed. Did you just resolve the crisis in the M.O. mansion, obtain the warm young treasure jade, or did you go back to visit your family with the chance encounter Wan Shaoshan and rush to Nanshan for a small meeting? All of this is unknown, but it can be confirmed that Han Li will arrive at a hidden mountain range in Lanzhou without any accidents, where he participated in the upcoming Ascension Conference and witnessed a more brutal arena battle than what Hu Pingu said. A few days later, the selection ceremony for immortality officially began. After a life and death battle, each arena determined the final winner. At this time, the guides of the seven immortal sects appeared one after another, and the guide of Huang Fengu was the cultivator surnamed Wang. With the end of the Immortal Ascension Conference, disciples of each sect were led back to their respective immortal sects by guides. Huangfeng Valley is no exception. Junior brother Wang led his newly recruited disciples on the journey back to Huangfeng Valley. At the hovering point of the flying boat in Huangfeng Valley, Han Li looked at the guide from Huangfeng Valley and sought out the Shuyuan website www.chaozhuyuan.com. After careful consideration, he decided to take a risk and handed the ascension order to the guide. Han Li held the order to ascend to immortality and walked towards the guide from Huangfeng Valley. Senior Wang, I have the ascension order from Huangfeng Valley. Han Li handed it over with a firm but slightly uneasy tone. Wang Jian slowly took the order to ascend to immortality, his gaze flowing above it, carefully examining it. He finally lifted his head, his eyes showing a hint of surprise. Is this the order to ascend to immortality? His voice was somewhat uncertain. After a moment of silence, Wang Jian spoke up and said, Your ascension order is quite remarkable. I can take you back to Huangfeng Valley. However, regarding your entry and the specific disposal of this ascension token, it will still be decided by the sect leader personally. After all, the recycling of the Ascension Order from our Huangfeng Valley happened four to five hundred years ago. Han Li's heart tightened, but his face remained calm. Thank you, Senior. Wan Jie nodded and gave Han Li a deep glance, then turned to the other disciples and instructed, Pack up and we will set off to return to the valley today. Han Li looked at the back of Senior Wang, with both anticipation and unease in his heart. For everything in the future, he could only wait quietly. In this way, under the surprised gaze of other cultivators, Han Li and ten winners boarded a huge magical tool in the shape of a small boat. 
Inside the core of the flying boat, the spirit boat quietly observed this scene, secretly speculating in its heart. This cultivator surnamed Wang is a nameless character in the original work, but from his reaction to the Ascension Order, it seems that he also has doubts about whether Han Li is the true holder. Nevertheless, everything seems to be following the trajectory of the original work, which gives Ling Zhou some comfort. Chapter 2 Huangfeng Valley You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, Jianzhou is located in the northern part of the state of Yu, and is the second largest among its 13 provinces in terms of area. Its territory is mostly mountainous and hilly, with sparse population, and it also borders the neighboring country of Yuanwu. The Yu mountain range stretches across the western part of Jianzhou, stretching for thousands of miles. Not only are various wild beasts and birds of prey emerging endlessly, but it is also a rare and primitive mountain forest. From above, it may appear that this area is no different from other mountain ranges, but in reality, the entire area is shrouded in a massive Chiman formation. Below are densely packed towers and halls, with some cultivators stepping on leaf-shaped magical tools and flying back and forth in low altitude, constantly busy. After the flying boat passed through the Chiman formation covering the Huangfeng Valley, a new world was revealed before Han Li and other newly recruited disciples. Han Li stared intently at the scene outside the flying boat and exclaimed, Is this the Huangfeng Valley? It's truly a hundred times more spectacular than imagined. The other newly recruited disciples also lamented that the level of spiritual richness here is far beyond their previous cultivation areas, and it truly deserves to be one of the major immortal cultivation sects in the thirteen states of the U state. Similarly, there is also the spirit boat that evokes emotions. As a flying boat spirit, his perspective is completely different from Han Li and others. On the journey back to Huangfeng Valley after taking off from Yinwu Ridge and Lanzhou, Ling Zhou felt the increasing stability of its existence and had perfectly integrated with the core of the flying boat. And as time passed, his control of the flying boat became more and more proficient, on the deck of the flying boat, Uncle Wang spoke to everyone in an encouraging tone, your ability to successfully enter the ranks of Huangfeng Valley through the selection of the Ascension Conference proves that you have extraordinary potential and fate. As long as you persistently cultivate, I believe that in the future, you can achieve great success in the definition of cultivating immortality. The disciples spoke in unison and said, Yes, Master Wang. We will definitely work hard and strive to become true cultivators as soon as possible. They stood on a flying boat, carrying infinite aspirations and expectations for the future. After the flying boat passed the mountain gate, Uncle Wang, as the leader of the team, seized the opportunity to introduce the situation of Huangfeng Valley to everyone. And the spirit boat, which served as a flying boat spirit under their feet, also listened attentively to Uncle Wang's introduction. Although Ling Zhou has also read the mortal cultivation legend, after all, it has been completed for many years and many details have long been forgotten. Now, he has traveled to the world of mortal cultivation and will seek survival and development in Huangfeng Valley. He naturally needs to pay more attention to and understand everything here. With Uncle Wang's introduction, the flying boat finally landed steadily on the cloud platform of Huangfeng Valley. The newly recruited disciples disembarked one after another, and there were already monks responsible for receiving them waiting on the side, ready to guide them to their respective residences. And Uncle Wang made a gesture of invitation to Han Li, indicating that he would follow him in another direction. Along the way, Uncle Wang smiled and said, Han Dao Yu, please rest for a few days in the welcome building. I will report to the leader and come to see you again, after all, it is related to the order to ascend to immortality. Han Li expressed deep gratitude to Uncle Wang and humbly responded, Thank you, Senior Wang. Afterwards, Uncle Wang checked Han Li's spiritual root qualifications and left the room. On the other hand, the spiritual boat was controlled by another unfamiliar foundation-building cultivator, who flew to the place specifically responsible for maintaining flying magic tools. Tianzu as they slowly sailed into the dock, 
the spirit boat gazed at other flying boats in the distance undergoing repairs, and a strong curiosity surged in its heart. There is not much description of the maintenance process for the flying boat in the original work, which makes him feel very fresh about everything he will experience soon. After all, as one of the seven major sects of the Yu Kingdom, Huang Fengu naturally cannot ignore such a huge flying magic weapon. Even if these magical tools were not personally crafted, there must be facilities and professional personnel in the sect responsible for their daily maintenance work. In the following days, Ling Zhou underwent a series of meticulous repair and maintenance procedures, all in order to restore the condition of the flying boat to its best and improve its performance. At the same time, Ling Zhou was not idle, he was observing and contemplating. Watching the young disciples practicing the purification technique around the flying boat, while recalling the details of the important events in the original work, especially the key nodes that may have a significant impact on his future. He knew very well that these memories were like double-dot-edged swords, used properly, and could help him to have a smooth journey in his cultivation of immortality, if accidentally leaked, it may attract disaster and what he needs to do is ensure that he makes the most suitable choice at the right time. But now, unexpected situations have occurred. The cabin door where the core of the flying boat was placed was suddenly opened, and a figure dressed in yellow Maple Valley steward clothes appeared at the door. His appearance made the heart of the spiritual boat start to tighten, scare me. Ling Zhou muttered to himself, but as he watched the figures walking towards him step by step, his heart became extremely nervous. Just as the spirit boat was pondering how to respond, a powerful divine consciousness suddenly penetrated into its core. In the perception of the spirit boat, the spiritual consciousness of the cultivator during the foundation period is like a towering mountain peak, huge and majestic, which makes him involuntarily have the illusion of being like a tiny ant. When the powerful divine consciousness swept over one's own soul, all thoughts and rebellious thoughts instantly disappeared, leaving a blank space in one's mind, completely intimidated by the opponent's strength. This shock is not only due to the power of divine consciousness, but also because the spiritual boat clearly realizes that the spiritual consciousness of the cultivator during the foundation period is far stronger than his imagination. At the end of the day, he was just an ordinary person who loved to fantasize before crossing over. Looking for a book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com, but as the saying goes, good luck brings bad luck. It was the foolish state of Lingzhou that made the steward mistake him for a newly born and ignorant spirit. For Lingzhou, this is undoubtedly a good thing. As expected, the steward who was inspecting saw the divine soul of the spirit boat and looked at the weak and ordinary divine soul, which was also amazed. He, who has been practicing flying boats in Tianzhu for many years, never imagined that a divine soul would be born in a magical tool flying boat. After all, I have never heard that magic tools can also give birth to spirit tools, so such discoveries must be reported immediately. At this moment, Ling Zhou also regained his senses and felt a sense of powerlessness in the face of the immense divine consciousness in front of him. He knew he had no resistance in front of this foundational monk, he died before he succeeded in his apprenticeship, and I don't know if it will erase his soul. At the critical moment, Ling Zhou calmed down in his heart. In the main hall of Huangfeng Valley, the leader Zhong Lingdao sat upright on the main seat, looking around at the dozen or so senior members sitting on both sides of the gate. There is still residual warmth from the heated debate just now in the air. It's been many years, I haven't seen anyone come here with an order to ascend to immortality, said an elder slowly. The other steward continued, indeed, it was hundreds of years since the last time the ascension order was revoked. Headmaster Zhong Lingdao nodded slightly and said in a deep voice, you have wronged the person who came with the ascension order. Another cultivator joined the discussion and said, I just don't know if the person who came with the order, as Brother Morong said, is just a casual cultivator. Headmaster Zhong Lingdao shook his head and said, who can say that clearly? Whether he is a descendant of the original person with the Ascension Order or not, if he comes with the Ascension Order, we must accept him. Chapter 3 Spiritual Mastery You are listening at NovelFull.audio 
Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, in the main hall of the Huangfeng Valley Council, an unequal transaction has just ended, and the officials have also left one after another. The main hall was about to restore tranquility, but at this moment, the sea steward of Tianzhou Fortress hurriedly returned and called out to Master Zhong, who was about to leave. Senior brother, please stay. Zhong Lingdao frowned slightly and sat down again, his puzzled gaze falling on the steward of the sea. Why are you so anxious, junior brother Hai? The sea steward quickly stepped forward with an uncertain expression on his face. I just received a jade talisman from junior brother Jiang. He said there was a magic level flying boat that gave birth to a spirit weapon. In the cultivation world, such a situation is rare. As is well known, the formation of artifact spirits is extremely difficult, and usually only high-level treasures have the possibility of giving birth to artifact spirits. And now, it is undoubtedly an anomaly that a magical tool has given birth to a tool spirit. Hai Junior Brother, are you sure Jiang Junior Brother is not mistaken? Zhong Lingdao's voice was filled with a hint of doubt. The maritime affairs officer paused for a moment before continuing, although Junior Brother Zhang's tenure at Tianzhu was not long, he has always been known for his caution and sensitivity, and his judgment should be trustworthy. After pondering for a moment, Zhong Lingdao finally made a decision. Since that's the case, let's go to Tianzhou Fortress ourselves to take a look and explore the truth. In the Tianzhou dock, the spiritual boat quietly docked in the maintenance slot of the dock, maintaining absolute stillness. Considering the difference in strength between himself and the manager of the construction period, Ling Zhou knew that any attempt to escape could be futile. He might have been shot down before he could take off. Therefore, he decided to observe the changes and see how the people of Huangfeng Valley would deal with him. Brother Jiang, it's that flying boat that gave birth to the spirit of the instrument. Suddenly, the sound of Zhong Lingdao echoed from the dock. The sound came first, followed by the figure, and then two streams of light flew rapidly from afar. Previously, Jiang, the steward who discovered the spirit boat, immediately stood up to welcome it and pointed to the flying boat on the repair slot A, saying, Senior Brother Leader, Senior Brother Hai, that cloud and mist boat is it. Zhong Lingdao looked at the flying boat in front of him, compared it with another cloud and mist boat in the dock, and found that they looked the same, all made from ordinary spiritual materials. Immediately, Zhong Lingdao's gaze lightly turned and fell on Jiang Jr. brother beside him, with a hint of inquiry in his eyes. When he noticed the gaze of his senior brother in charge falling on him, Director Jiang quickly reported his observations to him. Report to the head senior brother, this flying boat is a standard magical tool sold at the Divine Weapon Sect. I have purchased it for over 300 years. After listening to Zhang's statement, Zhong Lingdao raised a question. What is the result of the inspection of the spiritual essence contained in the core of the flying boat? But the cultivator's spiritual essence resides within it. The spirit of the vessel is pure and flawless, and it can be confirmed that it was naturally nurtured inside the flying boat, replied Director Jiang with half a smile but he immediately sighed and said, Unfortunately, the essence is a flying boat of magical level, and its future growth potential is very limited. After listening to Brother Zhang's words, Zhong Lingdao nodded thoughtfully, showing no interest in the newly born artifact spirit. In his eyes, the cloud and mist boat, as a standard flying boat tool, has little to show off except for its suitability for transporting goods and carrying people. Even if this cloud and mist boat has the blessing of an artifact spirit, its combat power can only be on par with that of a cultivator in the later stage of qi cultivation. Within the core of Yinwu boat, Ling Zhou breathed a sigh of relief upon hearing Jiang Guanchu's evaluation of him. Great, as long as I appear to have little value, no one will notice me. After brief consideration, Zhong Lingdao made a decision. Since it was born in my Huangfeng Valley, it should be placed under my Huangfeng Valley sect. Just keep an eye on it as usual, and the specific disposal will depend on the decision of the real person, he said as he looked at the two people on the side. 
Don't spread any news about the spirit of the exposed weapon before this, after speaking, his figure spread out and turned into a stream of light, breaking through the air. After bidding farewell to his master, the sea steward and the river steward also left the shipyard one after another. Just before Director Jiang left, he made a gesture to the disciples outside the dock, indicating that they could continue to maintain the cloud and mist boat. Accompanied by Director Zhang's figure disappearing at the door, the disciples entering the shipyard began whispering and whispering, speculating why the leader suddenly arrived here. As the protagonist of the event, Ling Zhou has completely let go of her tense mood at this moment. Finally, I managed to pass the test, Ling Zhou felt relieved to herself. As the sky gradually darkened, a bell rang, and the disciples of Huang Feng Valley who were working in the dock also packed their belongings and left one after another. The spirit boat, until it was confirmed that there was no one in the dock, withdrew most of the scattered perceptions outside, leaving only a trace to alert the surroundings. Immediately, I began to concentrate on reading the mysterious Dharma decision in my mind. Yunling Decision this cultivation technique suddenly appeared in his mind after he had perfectly integrated with the core of the flying boat and become a spirit, and can be considered as his companion cultivation technique. For Ling Zhou, this is undoubtedly a timely reign. He is struggling to find a suitable cultivation method for himself. Ling Zhou recalled before that in the human realm section of the novel, The Legend of Immortal Cultivation, there was no description of martial arts related to artifact spirits, but this does not mean that such martial arts do not exist in other unknown places. In the Spirit Realm chapter, it is mentioned that there is a clan of spirit tools who must have suitable techniques for them. But they are far away in the spiritual realm, and there is no way they can find the spiritual boat at the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com, but fortunately there is a spiritual determination. Previously, there was one Jane flying outside, but after returning to Huang Feng Valley, there were many people with mixed eyes, which made him hesitant to carefully study the content of the martial arts. Now that the people in the dock have dispersed, it is time to take a look at his companion martial arts. The vast expanse of heaven and earth is like crossing a floating duckweed, using oneself as a boat to traverse the universe. The first thing I see is the preface of the Yunling decision. The foundation of the spirit, and there are five steps that follow. Step 1. Nourishing the hull take the boat as a shelter and take good care of its body. Like a hen holding an egg, the spiritual atmosphere shines brightly without leaving any flaws. The boat body bathes in spiritual radiance, becoming increasingly solid and serving as the foundation of the Tao. Step 2. Absorb spiritual energy accompanying the boat with resilience, guiding spirits into the boat, like a hundred rivers returning to the sea. Under spiritual quenching, the quality is refined and elevated, the boat becomes more agile, and the vitality is gradually revealed. Step 3. Core Refining the boat core is the heart, specialized in refining, spiritual nourishment, gathering it as the source, and shining brightly. Step 4. Breaking through the realm the core of the boat body is warm and nourishing, the cultivator breaks through, the essence is accumulated, and the boat is integrated into a new state. Step 5. Reincarnation and recasting rebuilding the boat with a new core, the cycle never stops, giving birth and rebirth, gradually becoming stronger, and achieving immortality in harmony with heaven and earth. The content of the legal decision was concise and clear. After reading it several times, Ling Zhou remembered it and after careful consideration, understood its meaning. According to the understanding of Ling Zhou, the cultivation method of Yunling Ju is to treat the flying boat as an eggshell, with the hull equivalent to an eggshell and the core compared to egg yolk. Just like hatching an egg, absorbing spiritual energy to warm and nourish the hull. When it reaches a new level, it devours the warmed hull to strengthen the core, and then builds a new flying boat centered around the core, repeating this cycle. This process is like continuously forging steel, repeatedly quenching it. Chapter 4 Shiling Feng City You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, 
The morning light first appeared, and the melodious and clear bell echoed in the Tianzu, announcing the arrival of a new day. Ling Zhou woke up in the gentle melody of the bell. Although he no longer needed sleep after becoming a spiritual instrument, he was still accustomed to the way humans rest. We're going to start delivering things again, and I don't know when the next repair will be. It's quite tiring to keep flying. After muttering to himself, he waited for his Qi training disciple to come and start manipulating his body to leave the dock. Two years ago, after Zhong Lingdao reported his existence, the Jidan cultivators from Huangfeng Valley came to the shipyard where Yinwu boat was located. But after careful observation, they also let go of their greed. The quality of the spirit body determines the upper limit of the growth of the magic tool, and the cloud and mist boat of the spirit boat is a standard flying boat magic tool for transportation. This has no effect on Jidan cultivators, at most it can serve as a topic for discussion, and then they discuss how to deal with the spirit boat. The conclusion is to deal with the spirit boat in the same way as the Qi training spirit beast in the Qilin pavilion, without asking if the spirit boat accepts it, because Huang Fengu controls the control method of the spirit boat itself, and for them, there is no difference between the spirit boat and the spirit pet. After hearing this metaphor, Ling Zhou felt both frustrated and helpless in his heart, but after weighing the pros and cons in his heart, he found that this was the best arrangement currently available. During this year, my strength may not have been a steady pursuit of victory, but it can also be said that there were no waves. Mainly because there is no time, I have been transporting items or personnel to Huang Fengu at other times, and cannot hide spiritual energy fluctuations while practicing the soul-gathering technique. So he always secretly cultivates the Yunling technique when he goes to the shipyard for repairs, so the quality improvement of his body Yunwu boat is very slow. Within two years, he also advanced from a medium-level magical tool with dim spiritual light to a medium-level magical tool with abundant spiritual light. But fortunately, with the nourishment of the main body's cloud and mist boat, the primordial spirit has reached a level comparable to that of disciples in the middle stage of qi cultivation. That is to say, the level of practicing qi at the ninth level. During this period, there was an unexpected joy, which was that he was able to transform into a body outside of his true self. Of course, limited by his own strength, his incarnation can only move within a few kilometers of his body, and cannot have a range of over a thousand kilometers like a tool spirit silver moon that appeared in the later stages of the original work. On the square outside the trade department, Ling Zhou silently gazed at the disciples of Huang Feng Valley who were busy back and forth on their own bodies the transportation task this time is to send a batch of goods to Shiling Fang City, which are also some magic tools, elixirs, and talismans. At the same time, the spiritual stones earned by the city and the purchased raw materials will be transported back to Huang Feng Valley. Ling Zhou is already very proficient in such transportation tasks. His daily life in Huangfeng Valley is running back and forth between Tianzu, Fangshu, and the mine, but the location of the Fangshu and mine is different each time he goes. Director Chen, who was in charge of supervision, asked Director Lin, senior brother Lin, how long will it take to load it all? It's going to be good soon, it's going to be good soon, Director Lin said casually as he commanded his disciples. After hearing this, Chen Lufen also rolled his eyes in his heart. Every time he came to the trade department to pick up goods, senior brother Lin always procrastinated. After a while, Director Lin signaled to Chen Lufen that everything was ready. After installation, we can take off now. Chen Lufen stood on the bow of the ship, his gaze scanning the deck, confirming that all disciples of Huang Fengu had boarded the ship, and then issued the order to take off to the spirit boat. After hearing the command, the spirit boat activated the floating sky formation inside its body. Spiritual energy gushed out from the core of the flying boat, and a clear and visible airflow flowed like flowing water, pouring into the floating sky formation along the patterns engraved in the boat. As the spiritual energy dispersed, the body of the spiritual boat began to tremble slightly, like a sleeping giant beast slowly awakening. The hull of the cloud and mist boat, engraved with delicate spells on all sides, gradually emitted a faint green light, 
which was a sign of the formation's activation. Then, a powerful force surged out from the bottom of the boat, freeing the cloud and mist boat from the last bit of ground attachment to it. After reaching a certain height, they accelerated and drove away from the trading company. Over the eastern edge of the Taiwa Mountains, a flying boat is speeding forward. Outside the cabin of the cloud and mist boat, a Qi training disciple arched his hand and said, Uncle Chen, we're almost at Shilingfang City. Chen Lufeng, who was meditating and practicing, responded succinctly upon hearing the sound. Well, go ahead and inform the other disciples to prepare. Yes, Master Chen. Not long after, the Yunwu boat stopped steadily at the residence of Huangfeng Valley in the city. The disciples of Huangfeng Valley on the ship began to get busy, while Chen Lufeng had something to do and went outside the ship, instructing all the disciples to wait here for a day. Upon hearing this news, Ling Zhou secretly felt delighted. With such a blessed opportunity, Ling Zhou naturally wanted to seize it. After Deacon Chen left Huang Fengu's base completely, the figure of a young man suddenly appeared in the core cabin of the flying boat. From the outside, he appeared to be only about seventeen or eighteen years old, with a red lips and white teeth. Hurry up and buy something while Chen Lufeng hasn't returned yet. This sudden appearance of the young man is naturally the embodiment of the spirit boat. When he first appeared, he was also startled, but after some contemplation, it could only be attributed to the changes he brought after becoming a tool spirit. Ling Zhou stretched his hands and feet, then took out a worn dot out storage bag from under the base of the flying boat core. Then, he lightly opened the hatch and quietly left the cloud and mist boat. This Shilingfang city was established by Huang Fengu, and it is only traversed by a north.south street. The southern end of the street is densely covered with buildings of different sizes. These buildings are uneven, some towering in the clouds, while others are just small houses. After multiple confirmations by Ling Zhou, it can be confirmed that this neighborhood is the unnamed neighborhood that Han Li visited in the novel. Because in addition to the Wanbao Tower, there are also several shops that pass by in the text, such as Tianji Tower, Yinfeng Studio, and Qiqiao Pavilion. And Ling Zhou has also come here to transport goods many times, and has already remembered the layout of the neighborhood from the air. But I never found a chance to get off the boat before, but this time the situation is very different. That director Chen left Yunwu boat, which gave him the opportunity to do some simple things, such as shopping. After leaving the base of Huangfeng Valley, Ling Zhou immediately rushed towards the position of Wanbao Tower, and soon arrived at the gate of Wanbao Tower after entering the hall, Ling Zhou immediately froze. Although the description of this hall in the novel is already very detailed, what he saw with his own eyes still differs from his imagination. Standing in the center of the hall, the spirit boat looked around and the scene before him left him deeply shaken. Various precious items such as magical tools, elixirs, and talismans were displayed around him, and their abundance and delicacy exceeded his expectations. Just as he stopped to observe, a servant wearing a green shirt in the distance noticed the presence of the spirit boat and quickly stepped forward. Sir, what do you need? Let me introduce you to you. Our goods will definitely satisfy you and you will return, said the attendant enthusiastically. Ling Zhou said to the attendant, I want to see your shopkeeper. The attendant hesitated for a moment, and upon seeing the situation, the spirit boat calmly took out a lower grade spirit stone from the storage bag and threw it to the attendant. Taking over the spirit stone, the attendant's attitude immediately changed and became more respectful. He led the spirit boat towards the reception room on the second floor. Chapter 5 Tian Lizi you are listening at novel full dot audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, after following the attendants into the reception room, Ling Zhou looked around curiously and found that the layout inside was exactly the same as that described in the novel. The antique tables, chairs, and furniture, as well as the stove burning high dot quality sandalwood in the corner, turned out to look like this. Then Ling Zhou looked at the figure reading an ancient book behind the desk. Dressed in green clothes, tied with a jade belt around the waist, 
with a smile on his face and a warm gaze, giving people a warm yet majestic feeling. But after Lingzhou caught a glimpse of the book title, this feeling was shattered. The secret story of Meihu this name is not serious at first glance, and the shopkeeper Tian seems not to be aware of their arrival, still immersed in the world and the book. The Qing Shan attendant who went upstairs with the spirit boat saw this and coughed lightly. Tian, the shopkeeper, was startled awake, but did not panic at all. He calmly closed the book in his hand and covered it on the table. The attendant quickly walked up to the shopkeeper Tian and whispered a few words. Tian, the shopkeeper, stood up and said with a kind smile, I'm Tian Buli, the shopkeeper of the Wanbao Pavilion. I don't know how to address you, young friend. My name is Wan Xiaoshan, Lingzhou replied succinctly. It's Wan Xiaoyu, please sit down. Tian, the shopkeeper, enthusiastically led the spirit boat to sit on a nearby mahogany chair. Hurry up and brew a pot of top dot quality yunwu tea, Tian shopkeeper instructed the attendants beside him the attendant respectfully bowed and turned around before leaving quickly. Lingzhou didn't have too many pleasantries, so he directly got to the topic. Manager Tian, I came here to inquire if your store has Tian Lizi for sale. A hint of surprise flashed in the eyes of shopkeeper Tian, but he quickly regained his smile and said, I didn't expect Wan Xiaoyu to be so eager. Our store happens to have a thunderbolt. After speaking, the shopkeeper Tian stood up and bowed to the spirit boat, leaving him alone. He then quickly walked downstairs to retrieve the thunderbolt. After about a cup of tea, the shopkeeper Tian appeared again in front of Lin Zhou, but he had an extra brocade box in his hand. Wan Xiaoyu, since you want to buy Tian Lizi, you must have some understanding of his background. Tian, the shopkeeper, opened the brocade box and placed it in front of the spirit boat. Inside was a blue ball the size of a ball. But Ling Zhou sensed that as the brocade box opened, two spiritual pressures with absolute magical power emerged from somewhere, locking him tightly in every move. Is it this feeling of being locked in by spiritual pressure? It's quite fresh. Ling Zhou quietly gazed at Tian Lizi in the box, vaguely feeling the destructive power hidden within it, which made his face show a hint of caution. This thunderbolt is indeed extraordinary, but I don't know how manager Tian plans to price it. Ling Zhou tried to remain calm and not let his emotions be exposed. Upon seeing Ling Zhou's evaluation, Tian, the shopkeeper, flashed a smug light in his eyes and said, I believe the value of this thunderbolt is well known to you. At a fixed price, 1,500 spirit stones. Ling Zhou's heart tightened as the price exceeded his psychological expectations. In the original work, Han Li exchanged 2,000-year-old spirit herbs for four treasures, including Tian Lizi. And a thousand-year-old spirit grass is worth about 2,000 spirit stones. But this thunder is related to his future plans and must be obtained. So Ling Zhou began to bargain with shopkeeper Tian. Tian shopkeeper, you and I both understand that although thunder stones are precious on this day, they are not easy to sell. I will offer a thousand spirit stones, which is already a very fair price. Tian, the shopkeeper, frowned, clearly dissatisfied with Ling Zhou's quotation. But he also knows that what Ling Zhou said makes sense. After all, this thunderbolt has been stored in the storage room for a long time, and those with strength cannot look up to it, while those without strength cannot afford it. After pondering for a moment, the shopkeeper Tian finally nodded. Okay, since you're so sincere, I'll sell you a thousand spirit stones. Seeing that the price had been agreed upon, Ling Zhou touched his waist and took out ten medium-grade spirit stones emitting a faint light from his storage bag, placing them one by one on the table. These are ten medium-grade spirit stones. The shopkeeper Tian's gaze was immediately drawn in by the spirit stones, but he quickly withdrew his gaze. He gently pushed the box containing the Tian Lizi towards the spiritual boat and said, Little friend Wan, this Tian Lizi belongs to you now. After the transaction was completed, Ling Zhou breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. He knew that he had obtained the key props in his plan. 
After leaving the Wanbao Tower, Ling Zhou did not directly return to the Huangfeng Valley base, but went one after another to Tianji Tower and Qixing Pavilion. After walking out of the Seven Star Pavilion, Ling Zhou looked up at the sky. A few white clouds float on the azure sky, and the sun hangs high, casting warm sunshine. It's almost noon, the disciples of Huang Fengu should have already finished loading and unloading the goods. Ling Zhou withdrew his gaze and looked at the bustling street. Although he was curious about the stalls and eager to explore them, in order to act cautiously and avoid unnecessary trouble, he decided not to make any unnecessary stops. Turning around, he walked towards the residence of Huang Fengu, but suddenly stopped when he reached outside the residence. We need to see what's happening inside the cloud and mist boat. Has Director Chen returned early? Ling Zhou looked around and ran to a stall selling goods, pretending to be a spectator among the crowd. But secretly, it is through the perception of the body situation through the ontology. Great, Deacon Chen hasn't returned yet. Ling Zhou's perception swept through other places one after another and found at the disciples of Huang Feng Valley, after completing the loading and unloading work, also took the opportunity to go out to the local market to purchase items. Now only a few people, Liao Liao, are guarding the Yinwu boat. The original cargo in the cargo hold of Yinwu boat has disappeared, replaced by boxes filled with spirit stones, neatly stacked. In order to prevent accidents, in addition to prominently sealing the outside of each box, a layer of prohibition has also been added. Originally, there was no prohibition, after all, who dared to steal the spirit stone from Huangfeng Valley. However, after the loss of the spirit stone, it was stipulated that the box storing the spirit stone should be placed with a prohibition outside the seal. This incident even alarmed Master Zhong, but after careful investigation, no trace of the person who stole the spirit stone was found. During this period, I also asked if any outsiders had boarded the Lingzhou. But in reality, these spirit stones were secretly taken by the spirit boat itself. Otherwise, he would go to Wanbao Tower to buy Tian Lizi with the spirit stone he brought. After investigating the situation inside the flying boat, he went to the book garden www.zhaozhuyuan.com and disguised himself as a disciple of Huang Feng Valley, following the method he had used. He then returned to the cloud and missed boat all the way. In a cabin of Yinwu boat, Ling Zhou took out a formation and several flagpoles from the storage bag and arranged them in order. Afterwards, the storage bag was hidden in a hidden corner. After completing all of this, the incarnation of the spirit boat quietly dispersed, as if it had never appeared before. While waiting for Director Chen's return, Ling Zhou began to reflect on whether he had been exposed along the way. If Huang Fengu discovers that he can transform into a birth shadow, he must report it to Jidan Jinren. And with the ability of a cultivator during the period of alchemy, he will definitely discover that he has spiritual things. At that time, the control over him will definitely be more perfect, and he doesn't want to escape with Huang Fengu. Although it is not known when the plot of the invasion of the demonic way began, it has been two years since Han Li started to learn. In half a year, Han Li will sign up to participate in the Blood Forbidden Area. After that, he will spend six months refining pills, five months building foundations, and four more years practicing under the tutelage of Li Huayuan. After adding up the plot of the Yen family castle, it will only take more than five years at most. At that time, he will surely shoulder the heavy responsibility of transporting materials. Based on the current progress of cultivation, in just five years, the quality of the body has barely been improved to the level of top dot quality magical tools, which can rival a disciple who is in the later stage of qi cultivation. Such strength is undoubtedly like cannon fodder in the conflict of the invasion of the demon realm. So he has to plan everything for his future. Ling Zhou patiently waited until the sky completely darkened. Director Chen only returned to the cloud and missed boat. After returning to the ship, he called his disciples to inquire about the loading and unloading status of the goods. After receiving a response that the loading and unloading had been completed, he ordered the spirit boat to set sail and return to Huangfeng Valley. Chapter 6 
Assassination of Deacon Chen. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, the night is as heavy as a curtain. 300 miles away from Huangfeng Valley, the spirit boat carried the spirit stones loaded from Shilingfeng City, traversing the quiet night sky. Two hours have passed since leaving Shilingfeng City, and Lingzhou has been waiting for the right time to take action, and now the opportunity has arrived. Inside the core of the cloud and mist boat, the spirit boat quietly sensed the situation inside. He dared not use his divine sense to scan, as it would make Deacon Chen feel it. With a vague feeling, Ling Zhou quickly gained insight into the internal situation. Due to the fact that the main body of the Yunwu boat is only a medium dot sized vessel, there are only a few passenger cabins for people to rest in addition to the cabins used for storing goods. In Ling Zhou perception, except for the disciples responsible for patrolling, all other disciples meditate and practice in their respective rooms, even Deacon Chen is no exception. Looking at Deacon Chen during his cultivation, he knew that this was the best time to take action, and silently recited the formation spell in his heart. Hmm. Deacon Chen, who was still practicing, felt a strange movement. He opened his eyes, but only saw a golden light rushing towards his face. Who dares to attack this deacon? Deacon Chen shouted angrily and quickly cast his body protection spell, while pinching the spell and preparing to counterattack. However, the spirit boat had already set up a chain trap formation, and golden chains appeared out of nowhere, binding Deacon Chen in place and making him unable to move. No, there's a formation. Deacon Chen was somewhat shocked. He never expected that the place where he had been practicing would be decorated with a formation, and how he had concealed it from the disciples on the ship. Deacon Chen instinctively activated his spiritual power, but after a flash of golden light on the chain, it shattered the newly condensed magic within Deacon Chen's body. Taking advantage of Director Chen being trapped by the formation, Ling Zhou took the opportunity to transform into a body in the cabin and waved to the storage bag previously hidden in the corner. After seeing someone appear in the cabin, Deacon Chen inside the formation immediately shouted, Who are you? Dare to attack my flying boat in Huangfeng Valley. Ling Zhou did not respond and quickly took out a thunderbolt from the storage bag. After injecting spiritual power, he decisively threw it at Director Chen. Wait. What are you doing? Deacon Chen shouted in terror. For the sake of freedom, I have no other choice. Ling Zhou's voice was trembling, and as his words fell, Tian Lizi burst into a dazzling light. Then, with a loud bang, Deacon Chen was completely submerged in the thunder. No. After Ling Zhou successfully used Tian Lizi to bombard and kill Deacon Chen, he immediately released ten mechanism puppets from the storage bag, all of which were bought with spirit stones from Huangfeng Valley. Ling Zhou did not personally control the puppet, but gave orders to the mechanism puppet. Go, kill everyone on the flying boat. As the instructions from the spirit boat were given, the mechanism puppets who had originally lowered their heads lifted their heads and swiftly smashed through the door and rushed into the hallway. My door. Looking at the mechanism puppet rushing out of the door, the spirit boat felt a hint of helplessness. Forget it, just consider it a waste of money. He bought these mechanism puppets in the Tianji Tower, and they all have the peak strength of qi cultivation. Even if they are unmanned, they can crush disciples who only have eight or nine levels of qi cultivation. After all, how much strength can a disciple who can transport along with the ship have? And Ling Zhou's plan is to clean up all the disciples of Huangfeng Valley on the flying boat. He knew he had no way back, and the disciples of Huangfeng Valley who stayed on the flying boat were a hidden danger. Standing in the cabin, Ling Zhou looked at the place where Director Chen was originally standing. There was only a pile of ashes left, but Ling Zhou was worried that he had not completely killed him, after all, was it so easy for a foundation-building cultivator to be killed. Ling Zhou silently recited the formation spell in his heart, only to see a faint light flickering in the ashes, which immediately condensed into a phantom of Director Chen, but the flicker continued and could dissipate at any time. 
was it still discovered? Deacon Chen's phantom tone was calm, but it was difficult to conceal the panic inside. Ling Zhou remained silent, her eyes vigilantly fixed on this almost disintegrating strand of divine consciousness. He knew that even a strand of Deacon Chen's divine consciousness contained a considerable threat. However, Deacon Chen seemed to see through the thoughts of the spirit boat and chuckled softly, the spirit of the vessel has just begun to emerge, but you have the courage to challenge the foundation building cultivator. This courage and wisdom are not like a vessel spirit that has been born for less than two years. Ling Zhou frowned, wondering why Director Chen was still in the mood to explore his background at this moment. So he responded coldly, Deacon Chen, why talk nonsense? No one will know what happened here after tonight. Ha ha ha, that's right. Chen Deacon's phantom smiled, with a hint of unwillingness in his laughter. Do you think Huang Fengu won't send someone to investigate after I die? We will definitely find you then. That's what will happen after me, Ling Zhou said decisively. Now, please let Director Chen's divine consciousness be extinguished. After speaking, the Ling Zhou recited the formation spell, and a burst of golden light passed by. The virtual shadow of Director Chen dissipated like smoke and clouds, completely disappearing into the cabin. Ling Zhou took a deep breath and calmed down. Just as Deacon Chen was completely sold out, the soul lamp belonging to Deacon Chen suddenly went out in the place where the soul lamp was stored in Huangfeng Valley. MMM, Chen Lufeng's soul lamp has gone out. The Qi cultivation cultivator responsible for guarding the soul lamp discovered the abnormality of the soul lamp. We need to report to the leader quickly. On the other hand, after confirming the complete killing of Deacon Chen, Ling Zhou immediately controlled Yun Wu boat to turn around and fly towards the direction of Yuan Wu Kingdom. On the corridor inside the cloud and mist boat, several patrol disciples who were still curious about why the boat had vibrated before also noticed the changes in the cloud and mist boat. How do you feel like you're turning? When the other disciples were still puzzled, one of them found the mechanism puppet at the Shuyuan www.jiaoshuyuan.com. What kind of person? This startled sound also caught everyone's attention. After seeing the mechanism puppet, they knew that someone had attacked, so they all took out magical tools and fought against the puppet, but in the face of absolute strength, they were all mediocre. And other disciples of Huangfeng Valley who were practicing in the room were also attacked by puppets. Due to being forced to interrupt the cultivation process, their spiritual energy in their bodies was a bit sluggish, making it very difficult to deal with puppet attacks. As the battle gradually faded away, all nine disciples during the Qi cultivation period were eliminated, and the only cultivator during the foundation building period was also ambushed by the spirit boat. And those mechanism puppets also began to stop in place after completing their tasks. The incarnation of the spirit boat walked inside the cloud and mist boat, and he thoroughly released his divine consciousness to check to ensure that no one was alive. Then, with divine sense, they were ordered to clean up the traces of the battle. Nine storage bags were concentrated in the cabin, and the bodies of those disciples from Huang Fengu were thrown into the flying boat by the mechanism puppet. Looking at the corpse carried before his eyes, Ling Zhou's face felt a bit uncomfortable, after all, this was his first time killing someone. Although it was not his own initiative, watching the deaths of those disciples from Huangfeng Valley still made him feel uncomfortable. But he must adapt to this discomfort, because this is the cultivation world, not his original stable world. We need to leave here before sending someone from Huangfeng Valley to investigate, Ling Zhou whispered softly. The cloud and mist boat was transformed into a shooting star and swept across the sky, disappearing into the night. After the spirit boat controlled the cloud and mist boat to leave the original place for a day, three red, yellow, and blue escape lights appeared nearby, and then split into three, starting to search in three directions. Chapter 7 Counting Harvests You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push, in an unmanned mountain range within the territory of Yuan Wu Kingdom, a spirit boat piloted a cloud and mist boat flying at low altitude. After finding a hidden cave, 
he carefully lowered the flying boat. After he ambushed Deacon Chen, he fled all the way to the kingdom of Yuanwu, during which he dared not rest for a moment. Even if the spiritual power of the cloud and mist boat was exhausted, he did not recover on the spot, but quickly replaced the spirit stone to continue moving forward. I've been running away for so long, I think I'm temporarily safe, Ling Zhou comforted himself and began counting the gains and losses this time. The spiritual consciousness of the spirit boat scanned its body and found thirty boxes containing spirit stones in the cabin, including one top-dot-grade spirit stone, two hundred medium-grade spirit stones, and twenty-five thousand inferior spirit stones, totaling forty thousand spirit stones. This is all the income of Shilingfang City in the past month, which is undoubtedly a huge wealth for Lingzhou. Looking at the spoils of war in the cabin, Lingzhou's heart was filled with joy. It's true that horses are not fat at night, and grass is not fat. They become rich overnight. But then a hint of regret appeared. Unfortunately, Director Chen's storage bag was hit by a thunderbolt and exploded into ashes. After counting the spirit stones in the cabin, the spirit boat transformed into a body inside the cabin. Previously, the mechanism puppets concentrated those storage bags in the cabin. The spirit boat emptied all the contents of the storage bag, and piled up magical tools, elixirs, techniques, and spirit stones on the ground. Out of curiosity, the spirit boat picked up a talisman and looked at it, but couldn't tell what it was, so it injected spiritual power and threw it out to give it a try. I saw the talisman transform into a small fireball flying towards the damaged door, leaving burnt black marks on it. So this is the talisman of fireball technique. After understanding the types of talismans in hand, the spirit boat picked out twelve identical talismans from the ground, and temporarily did not experiment with other talismans. Then Lingzhou picked up a medicine bottle and took a look. Gathering Qi Pill it should be used to condense spiritual energy. So I poured out a grain and smelled it. It's quite fragrant, and I'm not sure if my incarnation can absorb this medicinal power. With a taste mentality, Ling Zhou swallowed the fragrant pill without hesitation. Not long after, I felt a spiritual energy spreading in my body. But these spiritual energies were not absorbed by the incarnation of the spiritual boat, but were constantly flowing throughout his body. Is it because I didn't study hard to absorb it? Thinking of this, he casually grabbed a book of cultivation techniques, and upon seeing the cover, it was still an old acquaintance, Changchun Gong. Ling Zhou carefully read the cultivation methods of Changchun Gong and attempted to operate spiritual energy according to the details described. The effect is also significant, as the spiritual energy flowing in his body begins to be absorbed by his body, and his cultivation level has also been improved. Watching his incarnation strengthen a little bit, Ling Zhou felt quite excited. But soon a doubt surged in my heart. If I recombine myself, I won't be able to return to my original state, will I? As the saying goes, practice is the only criterion for testing truth, and the spiritual boat immediately disperses its existing incarnation and reunites. Unfortunately, the newly condensed incarnation strength has fallen back to its original level, and the cultivation that was previously improved through absorbing pills has dissipated along with the previous incarnation, feeling like a return to heaven and earth. It seems that it's still not possible, Ling Zhou thought somewhat disappointed. Ling Zhou speculates that this may be related to the characteristics of the artifact spirit. Even if his incarnation becomes like a human, it is only a tangible illusion. However, he has a profound spiritual determination, so he doesn't need to cultivate the martial arts of the human race. After picking up a green leaf artifact and trying it out, Ling Zhou looked towards the place where Deacon Chen had died. Because there was a formation at the bottom, the floor was not blasted through by Tian Lizi, but the power of Tian Lizi still penetrated through the formation, leaving traces on it. And the other parts of the cloud and mist boat also suffered varying degrees of damage due to the battles between Huangfeng Valley disciples and puppets. The only non-combat loss was the door that the puppet had smashed into at the beginning. As he spoke, Ling Zhou also glanced at the damaged door, which had burn marks left by the fireball technique. 
Looking at the door that had been hit by a puppet and then burned down, Ling Zhou awkwardly withdrew his gaze. And now, an important issue facing Ling Zhou is to break free from the control of legal decisions. As long as the legal issues are not resolved, he will have no peace for a day. Next, follow the cultivation steps of Yun Ling Ju, and continue to warm up the quality of the body. As long as I reach the extreme, I can start to reincarnate and reshape my essence with the core of the flying boat, so that I can completely break free from the control of the Dharma. According to the feeling of Ling Zhou, as long as he absorbs all the spiritual stones in the cabin, he will definitely be able to raise his body temperature to the extreme. This is a prerequisite for the ability to undergo reincarnation and recasting, but now. The spirit boat is facing some difficulties as it looks at the damaged areas inside its body. Where should he go to find a place for repair in this wilderness, and even if he finds it, he dare not go in. A flying boat filled with spirit stones, but only a small cultivator in the middle of qi cultivation is guarding it, which is like strolling on the street holding golden bricks, with great safety hazards. Forget it, I'll raise my body temperature to the top grade first. Even if there are flaws, that's all I can do. Then I'll find a way to solve it. The place where Ling Zhou is currently hiding is a quite large natural cave, with ample space. However, for his own body, the cloud and mist boat can barely fit in. ZhaoZhuyuan.com In the following time, the daily routine of the spirit boat is to absorb spirit stones and practice spells every day. Although he is unable to cultivate martial arts, at least spells can still be learned. And I also have a clear understanding of my own strength. His essence is the cloud and mist boat, which is a standardized flying boat magic tool for transportation. There is no attack formation, only a set of defense formations and a spirit gathering array used to gather and absorb spiritual energy. But as a medium-dot-sized flying boat artifact, his mana reserves are comparable to those in the early stages of the foundation period, and his body strength is on par with the peak of the qi cultivation period. However, his primordial spirit is only at the mid-level of qi cultivation, resulting in the incarnation strength being only at the mid-level of qi cultivation, which appears quite uncoordinated. In response to this issue, Ling Zhou has considered various possible solutions. In the original work, there are many treasures that can increase the vitality of the spirit, such as calming incense, clear incense, and soul-nourishing wood. But these are all too far away from him, the only chance to reach them is Dian Ju. After all, one of the effects of Dian decision is to strengthen the primordial spirit. Although the incarnation cannot preserve cultivation, the enhancement of the primordial spirit should be able to be preserved. But this is just a guess from the spirit boat. He will only know after he obtains the Dian trial, and now the only thing he can do is rely on his own body to nourish the elemental spirit. According to the development of the plot, Hanli should have already gone to Shilingfang City to purchase the necessary equipment to go to the Blood Forbidden Area. I don't know how Hanli would deal with Feng Yu without Tian Lizi. Ling Zhou's boredom in the cave made him start to daydream. In fact, on the second day after Ling Zhou left Shilingfang City, Hanli arrived and walked all the way into Wanbao Tower. And the shopkeeper Tian took out another thunderbolt. After all, he never said that there was only one thunderbolt in the store. Chapter 8 Adventures of Youth You are listening at NovelFull.audio De Ko Lois A.R.A. Trong Qua Trin Lay Text Chapter 9 Strolling the Market You are listening at NovelFull.audio Ads by Google equals window Ads by Google Push after leaving the dock and entering Panlongfang City, Ling Zhou walked leisurely on the street. He came to Fangshu for three purposes. First, to inquire about the news of the Yu State, second, to purchase treasures that can increase the vitality of the gods, and third, to find an ownerless ship. But in addition, you can take a stroll around the entire neighborhood and enjoy the local delicious spiritual food to your heart's content. After all, in order to be more secure, he gave up the opportunity to experience in Shilingfang City before, but this time he has plenty of time. 
This Panlongfang city is much livelier than Shilingfang city. Lingzhou walked slowly along the bustling street, curiously looking around. His gaze wandered between the various stalls and passers-by, until a mouth-watering aroma of grilled meat intercepted his footsteps. He followed the scent and arrived at a barbecue stall, where the atmosphere of fireworks was particularly strong and lively. The golden meat skewers were arranged neatly, emitting an enticing luster, while the fragrant spiritual plants and the fish skewers with a refreshing taste also caught his attention. Boss, how do you sell the skewers here? Ling Zhou asked curiously. The master behind the stall was busy flipping the skewers in his hand. When he heard the question, he looked up and smiled, Oh, this Taoist friend, do you want some? We have a wide variety of grilled meat skewers here, including those made from the meat of the first dot class spirit beast Lin Zhu sheep. The meat is delicious and the wood attribute is full of vitality. There are also those made from blue-eyed rabbit meat, which has a delicate and tender taste and is very popular. As for the price, Lin Zhu Lamb 5 skewers only require one inferior spirit stone, while blue-eyed rabbit meat is even more affordable. 10 skewers only require one inferior spirit stone. Ling Zhou thought to herself that it was so expensive, but fortunately, with the free support of Ling Xer from Huang Fengu, she had relatively abundant resources. He said to the boss, then let's have 30 skewers, 10 of which will be made of Lin Zhu lamb, 20 of which will be made of blue-eyed rabbit meat, and 5 of which will be made of bean skin and 2 of which will be grilled fish. The boss became even more enthusiastic upon hearing this and said, All right. Taoist friends have such good taste. The bean skins here are all made from carefully selected spirit beans, and this fish is also a spirit fish in the Panlong River. All of them are high dot quality ingredients rich in spiritual energy. Please wait a moment, I will prepare them for you immediately. After a while, the boss skillfully packed the grilled skewers ordered by Ling Zhou and handed them to him. Daoist friend, your skewers are ready, totaling seven inferior Lingxer. I hope you are satisfied with your meal. After paying the Lingxer, Ling Zhou picked up the package filled with various colored meat skewers and vegetarian skewers, with a satisfied smile on his lips. Thank you, boss. Ling Zhou took out two lamb skewers from the skewers and put the rest in a storage bag, eating and walking. After strolling until noon, Ling Zhou chose a restaurant with a large family to rest, ordered a few plates of spiritual food, and sat in a seat by the window, resting and enjoying the scenery. Watching the crowds passing by on the street, Ling Zhou began to recall what he had seen and heard along the way. There are obviously a lot of monks wearing Vietnamese clothing in the crowd, and they all don't look very good. Just as Ling Zhou's thoughts were flying, the conversation at the next table interrupted his contemplation. Brotherly, I heard you just returned from the state of you. How is the situation there? Someone at the nearby table asked. After taking a sip of tea, Brotherly said slowly, Hmm, it's pretty stable. The seven major sects of the U state once ambushed the six demon sections. He paused and continued, however, the demon also began to retaliate, invading the state of you on a large scale. Both sides engaged in more than a dozen major battles at the border between you, Jiang, and Cheki, with tens of thousands of cultivators killed or injured. Even seven or eight cultivators from Lian Danchi were killed in action, which was extremely tragic. After chatting for a few words, they quickly switched to another topic. Ling Zhou saw that they didn't say anything more, so he stopped eavesdropping. After finishing the spiritual food on his plate, he got up and left the restaurant. His purpose of coming to Fang City to inquire about the news of the Yu Kingdom has been achieved, and he needs to buy treasures to enhance his spiritual power. After walking along the street for a few minutes, Ling Zhou stood in front of a familiar shop, with the sign of Wanbao Building hanging on the door. Undoubtedly, it's Wanbao Tower. You're everywhere. After sighing for a moment, Ling Zhou walked in. The layout of the hall was the same as that of the Wanbao Tower in Shilingfang City, with long counters and attendants dressed in uniform green clothes. This guest, what treasures do you need to find? 
let me recommend them to you below. Our store's collection will definitely satisfy every customer and leave. A servant wearing a green shirt walked up to Ling Zhou and enthusiastically spoke up. Ling Zhou's gaze fell on the servant in the green robe and he asked calmly, Do you have any treasures suitable for use during the qi cultivation period that can increase the vitality? The attendant in green was momentarily stunned upon hearing this, and then calmly replied, Yes, please come with me. Ling Zhou nodded and followed the blue-clad attendant through the hall to a relatively quiet counter. The attendant had a few conversations with the person standing behind the counter, and soon after, several exquisite items were placed on the counter. These are treasures that can help cultivators during the qi cultivation period to increase their vitality, the attendant introduced to the spirit boat. Ling Zhou's gaze swept over the three items on the counter. A bottle of elixir with the essence pill written on it, a box of incense sticks, and a tuan pu for practicing meditation. Before Ling Zhou could speak, the Qin Shan attendant took the initiative to introduce himself, let me explain these three treasures to the guest in detail. The efficacy of this bottle of essence pill, as you can guess from its name, is specifically designed to enhance the vitality. And this incense stick is a calming fragrance, which can bring peace of mind and aid in cultivation when lit. As for this Tuan Pu, sitting on it for cultivation can help you better soothe your spirit. After listening to the attendant's introduction, Ling Zhou thought to herself for a moment. These things have loud names, but they can only assist people in the Qi cultivation period in their cultivation. The effect should be greatly reduced during the foundation building period. But he is different from others, he is a spiritual tool, and it is unknown whether it will have any effect on him. Ling Zhou decided to buy all of them and give them a try, then asked, how many spirit stones do these things come in total? Upon hearing about the possibility of a transaction, the Qin Shan attendant was secretly pleased to visit the Shuyuan website www.zhaozhuyuan.com. He was a big customer. He quickly quoted, 10 low dot level spirit stones for Ning Yuan Dan, 2 spirit stones for Anshan Xiang each, and 20 spirit stones for Jingxin Pu. Without saying a word, Ling Zhou happily paid off the Lingxue and stuffed everything into the storage bag. After leaving the Wanbao building, he wandered until nightfall before returning to the dock. In the cabin of the cloud and mist boat, he placed a calming cauliflower and lit a tranquil incense, eagerly anticipating the effects they would bring. After sitting down, his incarnation took a concentration pill and quickly entered a meditative state. Not long after, Ling Zhou opened his eyes and felt full of energy. It's effective. He noticed a slight improvement in his spiritual power, although the growth was not significant, it was indeed useful. Before obtaining the De Yen Ju, let's practice like this first. Ling Zhou gently extinguished the still burning Anshan incense, took out a notebook from the storage bag, and began outlining a detailed plan on it. Today he accidentally inquired about the news of the state of you at the restaurant, and it seems that the plot of the invasion of the demon path into the state of you has already begun. The chaotic times are approaching, and having strength is the only way to ensure one's safety. I still need to quickly obtain an unowned flying boat. Ling Zhou still remembers the purpose of leaving the cave. He was pondering in his mind the choice of the future hull, and those standard flying boats were no longer adopted. After all, each flying boat is bound with exclusive control laws, and for him, changing to a new flying boat is just a matter of changing one to be operated by laws. I need to make my own flying boat, Ling Zhou knew in his heart that he needed a customized flying boat, but this involved construction technology not his strength. It seems that tomorrow, I still need to go to the shop at Shenbing Gate to take a look. Chapter 10 Divine Weapon Gate You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Ads by Google equals window. Ads by Google. Push, the next morning, Ling Zhou went to the storefront of Shenbing Gate as planned. But before leaving the cloud and missed boat, Ling Zhou's heart moved and he remembered some damaged areas on the flying boat. Although these damages do not affect the operation of the Yunling Resolve, for safety reasons, he decided to repair the flying boat. 
I might as well go ask Jiang Bo, after all, he has been working here for so long and should be very familiar with the situation nearby. Ling Zhou thought to himself that this would also allow him to know the specific location of the Shenbing Gate store in the local area. Afterwards, Ling Zhou found Jiang Bo on the dock. Jiang Daoyu, there are some minor injuries on my cloud and mist boat. Do you know anyone here who can repair them? Ling Zhou asked. After hearing Ling Zhou's question, Jiang Bo patted his head and said, If I remember correctly, Dao Yu's flying boat is a cloud and mist boat sold by the Divine Weapon Sect. What's so difficult about it? We have a Tiangong dock which is specially responsible for this kind of repair, just over the dock. He pointed to the direction and handed Ling Zhou a map of the city. Ling Zhou only glanced at the map and easily remembered the location. At the same time, he also asked about the location of the Shenbing Gate store in the neighborhood. After returning, the spirit boat directly drove the cloud boat to Tiangong Dock. The smelter in this Tiangong Dock is an old craftsman called Iron Hand. He knows every part of the flying boat like the palm of his hand. After a thorough examination, the Iron Hand patted his chest and promised, Just give me your flying boat and it will be repaired soon. Ling Zhou entrusted them with peace of mind to repair it, leaving professional matters to professionals, while walking towards the shop of Shenbing Gate. Following the path pointed by Jiang Bo, Ling Zhou passed through the crowded and bustling crowd and arrived at the central square of Panlongfang City. In the center of the square, a majestic and huge copper furnace stands tall, with a hint of green smoke swirling above it. This copper furnace building is the shop of the Divine Weapon Gate in the neighborhood. It's really unique, Ling Zhou whispered to herself. He lifted his head and stared at the copper furnace building in front of him, unable to find a suitable language to describe the scene before him for a moment. But he still stepped into the building. In the store, a burly attendant saw the guest enter and quickly welcomed him. Welcome to the copper furnace workshop. Do you need any help? the attendant asked with a hint of heroism in his voice. Ling Zhou couldn't help but be taken aback. Anyone who saw a strong man two meters tall rushing inward would be startled. Looking around the store, Ling Zhou noticed that all kinds of combat magic weapons were displayed and asked, Do you have any flying boat type magic weapons here? But feeling that his words were not quite accurate, he added another sentence. I mean a large flying boat. Upon hearing this, the attendant led the spirit boat through the crowd of goods and arrived at the depths of the shop, then knocked on an iron door. Master, a guest wants to see our flying boat. A response came from behind the door, and then an old man personally opened the door and came out. This old man looks quite old, but he is full of tendons and flesh, and his eyes are still shrewd, indicating that he is a brave and strategic person. I'm Wu Tong, the owner of this workshop. I heard you want to see a flying boat. Manager Wu examined the spirit boat and asked for confirmation. That's right, but we will decide whether to buy it after seeing it, Ling Zhou replied with certainty. Then please come with me. Wu Tong led the spirit boat into a private room, took out an exquisite picture book from the storage bag, and handed it to him. These are all the flying boats sold in our copper furnace workshop, please take a look. Ling Zhou flipped through the picture book, and every page displayed a flying boat that made him feel excited. From small and agile flying boats to large battle boats, they all reflected the exquisite craftsmanship of the cultivation world. The level also ranges from lower level magical tools to intermediate level magical treasures, but the price also rises rapidly, which is not something that spiritual boats can afford. But soon, Ling Zhou's gaze was drawn to the painting on a page. The picture shows a dilapidated flying boat. He asked curiously, what is the origin of this flying boat? Why is it so dilapidated? Wu Tong followed the gaze of the spirit boat and answered with some hesitation, this flying boat. It originally belonged to a cultivation family in the Tianluo kingdom who was proficient in the art of guarding ghosts. However, in the process of inheritance, the control method was accidentally lost, and the family was also destroyed by the enemy. 
After multiple transfers, it finally fell into the hands of our divine weapon sect. Upon hearing the news that the control method had been lost, Ling Zhou was overjoyed. Isn't this his dream love boat? He asked directly, how many spirit stones does this flying boat need? Lord Wu looked at the spirit boat in surprise and advised, without control and decision dot making, it's no different from a mortal boat. Taoist friends, why not consider other flying boats? Ling Zhou firmly replied, I want this one. In order to dispel Wu Tong's doubts, Ling Zhou casually made up an excuse. To be honest, I do have a special fondness for this dilapidated flying boat. Wu Tong seemed somewhat relieved upon hearing this and nodded. He had seen many buyers, and it was not uncommon for customers like Ling Zhou to have special preferences. After pondering for a moment, he said, since you are so persistent, I won't be able to persuade you again. Although this flying boat has lost its determination, its material and craftsmanship are extraordinary. Thirty thousand spirit stones are indeed a fair price. Upon seeing this, Ling Zhou calculated in his heart that he still had over four thousand spirit stones, but there was still a significant gap between the twenty thousand spirit stones. He pretended to think for a while before nodding and agreeing, okay, that's the price. But I don't have that many spirit stones on me right now, so I need to go back to my tribe and get some. Okay, how about I come back in a while? No problem. Master Wu should be very pleased, after all, this transaction is also quite satisfactory to him. This flying boat will be kept for you, said Zhaozhuyuan.com Lingzhou bid farewell and left. After leaving, he went to the shipyard to retrieve his own Yinwu boat. Behind him, Wu Tong's gaze showed a hint of complexity, as if he was pondering something. As an old martial artist, he always felt that the customer today was a bit complicated, but he couldn't say anything wrong. In the end, he shook his head and began to busy himself with other tasks. The spirit boat retrieved the cloud and mist boat from the shipyard and then stopped at its original berth. It is now considering how to obtain the spirit stone of the great spirit. Where would there be a chance to obtain a large number of spirit stones? Ling Zhou remembered the news he had heard in the tea house before, that the demon path had begun to invade the cultivation world of the Yu Kingdom, which was undoubtedly an opportunity. He remembers mentioning a spirit mine in the original work, which was the one where Han Li discovered the ancient teleportation array. I remember it was in Shizhou, right? Ling Zhou pondered. It was currently a chaotic situation, and if he could get those spirit stones, he could solve the problem of purchasing a flying boat. A strong attack is not very realistic, after all, there are foundation building cultivators stationed. Ling Zhou remembered being alone. In the original work, Han Li met an old man who was practicing qi at the palace of the capital of Yu. He has a technique that can restrain his own breath, which can deceive fellow cultivators of the same level, and even the construction period may be concealed. This is evident from Han Li's practice of Dian Ju. Ling Zhou secretly planned that once he mastered the technique that could conceal his breath, the spiritual mind in Shizhou would be in his pocket. At noon, Ling Zhou manipulated Yinwu boat to leave Panlongfang city. However, shortly after Ling Zhou left the market, a middle-aged cultivator wearing a gray shirt secretly followed, with a greedy gleam in his eyes.